So let's look at each one of those. So number of products is the first one that you mentioned. Uh, or uh, would you, b between the number of products and number of channels, which one is more important? Uh, someone already has one product. I, I, I don't think that there's like a uniform cookie cutter uh, approach that you can take in terms of how many products is, is right. Coming back to it, you're always looking at what is the prospective buyer in that category look for and what's the value that they see in the business they're acquiring. Um, what I would say is, is how we actually approach hitting those goals, knowing who the buying audience is, just remembering like one of the partners in this joint venture is an investment bank who sold over a billion dollars in transaction value. They know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know exactly what every buyer is looking for. I know that they do and they bring that to the table. But what I bring to the table, and I think what's most relevant, um, or what I would rather say, like what our portion of this is, is, well, how do we actually get to hitting those metrics? And, and, and what does that look like? And we break down those four objectives into five key areas and categories. And I think these are the pillars that you build upon in order for you to actually achieve those success metrics. And, and just to sort of, you know, spout them off to you, you know, we're talking the way we break it down is product, brand, marketing, operations, and general business management. And so those are the four, five categories <clears throat> that we are effectively planning out. And what we're doing is we're building three month cadences of what are we going to hit in every quarter up until the point that we exit strategically reverse engineering? What are the things that are going to take more time versus less time? What are the things that with the money that's been invested that we want to spend early, that's going to yield the high, highest revenue growth in the early stages that will allow us to then be more efficient as we're bringing it to exit and, and be really, really intelligent as to what does the business need to look like at that specific point in time, two years on and work backwards. So, so coming back to it and I'd say, Nick, like, please feel free to jump in at, at any time. Yeah. 